please all kneel for our daily offering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. God our Father, I offer you my day. I offer you my prayers, thoughts, words, actions, and sufferings in union with the Sacred Heart of Jesus, who continues to offer himself in the Eucharist for the salvation of the world. May the Holy Spirit, who guided Jesus, be my guide and my strength today, so that I may witness to your love. With Mary, the mother of our Lord and of the Church, I pray specially for the intentions of the Holy Father for this month. We pray for those persons living on the margins of society in inhumane life conditions. May they not be overlooked by institutions and never be considered of lesser importance. I also offer the intentions of all my relatives, friends, and my personal intentions today. Amen. Fifth day novena prayer, San Lorenzo Ruiz. All together, Almighty God, you bless Saint Lorenzo Ruiz with the love for Mary, our mother. He participated in a group that professed to pray the rosary and propagate its devotion to others. To love Mary is to love you even more. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, help us to love Mary so that through her, we could go near Jesus. Inspire us to love the rosary and to recite it daily so that we will always be covered by the powerful intercession of the Mother of God. May your love for Mary increase our devotion for her. This we pray in Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.
Good morning, my brothers and sisters, and welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today, we commemorate the memorial of St. Pius of Pietrocina, priest. Purihin ang Panginoon, umawit ng kagalakan, at tugtugin ang gitara at ang kayayang lira. Hipan ninyo ang trumpeta. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today, the 23rd of September, as what we have heard, we honor and we remember St. Pius, or popularly known as Padre Pio. Today, we pray for all our intentions. Him being a miraculous saint, through his intercession, miracles do happen, especially the miracle of healing. For those people maybe we know, we remember them in this Mass, we pray for their health, for their healing, and also not just physical, but even spiritual, emotional healing. For us, therefore, to worthily take part in this holy celebration, let us first call to minor sins, asking God for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who by a singular grace gave the priest St. Pius a share in the cross of your Son, and by means of his ministry renewed the wonders of your mercy. Grant that through his intercession we may be united constantly to the sufferings of Christ and so brought happily to the glory of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I charge you before God who gives life to all things and before Christ Jesus who gave testimony under Pontius Pilate for the noble confession to keep the commandment without stain or reproach until the appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ that the blessed and only ruler will make manifest at the proper time. The King of kings and the Lord of lords, who alone has immortality, who dwells in unapproachable light, and whom no human being has seen or can see. To him be honor and eternal power. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful song. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Know that the Lord is God. May He made us His we are, His people, the flock He tends. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Enter His gates with thanksgiving, His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him, bless His name. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. For He is good, the Lord whose kindness endures forever, and His faithfulness to all generations. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart. 
and yield a harvest through perseverance. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When a large crowd gathered with people from one town to after another, journeying to Jesus, he spoke in a parable. A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path and was trampled, and the birds of the sky ate it up. Some seed fell on rocky ground, and when it grew, it withered for lack of moisture. Some seed fell among the thorns, and the thorns grew with it and choked it. And some seed fell on good soil. When it grew, it produced fruit hundredfold. After saying this, he called out, Whoever has ears to hear ought to hear. Then his disciples asked him what the meaning of this parable might be. He answered, Knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of God has been granted to you, but to the rest they are made known through parables, so that they may look but not see, hear but not understand. This is the meaning of the parable. The seed is the word of God. Those on the path are the ones who have heard, but the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts that they may not believe and be saved. Those on rocky ground are the ones who, who when they hear, receive the word with joy, but they have no root. They believe only for a time and fall away in time of temptations. As for the seed that fell among thorns, they are the ones who have heard, but as they go along, they are choked by the anxieties and riches and pleasures of life, and they fail to produce mature fruit. But as for the seed that fell on rich soil, they are the ones who, when they have heard the word, embrace it with generous and good heart, and bear fruit through perseverance. Dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The words of the Gospel, like my sinfulness. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. The seed is the word of God. Alam po ninyo ang Ebanghelyo pong ito, I believe, the past year, this liturgical year. Siguro tatlo, apat na ulit mong at narinig being proclaimed in the Mass. Kung kaya nga by now, I'm sure we have been very familiar with this parable, the parable of the sower. This parable was told 2,000 years ago. And yet, the meaning is still very much true and real up to now. And it is good for us, therefore, to reflect on the meaning, for us to be reminded how blessed we are that oftentimes we forget. As what the Lord said, the seed is the word of God being proclaimed. And when the seed is sown, it is bound to grow, to tubo, at tutubo po ito. Yun nga lang, depende doon sa lupang tumatanggap. But surely, yun pong seed, it is bound to have life. Yun nga lang po, yung bunga, yung benefits ng seed na ito ay nakadepende doon sa lupang tumanggap. Dear friends, as I was proclaiming this gospel, actually, the Lord's parable is being reenacted. As I was proclaiming the gospel, in fact, until even before, as the word of was being proclaimed by our first reading, the seed was already, was, it was already being sown to each and every one of us. 
And some of you even go to church every day, some every Sunday. Even po yung mga naka-live streaming ngayon, they have been hearing the word being proclaimed. In short, the seed was being sown to us. Today, therefore, we are being asked, how many times have you received the seed? In your whole lifetime, how many times you heard, experienced the word being proclaimed unto you? Which means, how many times you have received the seed from the sower? Tumubo na po ba? Namunga na po ba? O baka naman, magpahanggi ngayon, tanggap ng tanggap ng binhi, wala pa rin tumutubo. The people then understand very well what the Lord was saying, being many of them probably were farmers, or, you know, they know the principles and dynamics of farming, of planting. Siguro po, hindi naman tayo dito mga plantit o mga plantita. Pero even us, we all know very well the principles of growing seeds, of growing plants. Siguro po, we are being assured today, God gives. And whatever grace, whatever the Word is being given to you, it is bound to have grace. Ang tanong lang po sa atin, what kind of soil are we? Are we that very busy soil, very much tempted by the devil, that when we receive today the seed, it is being taken away from our hearts? Or are we that thorny, that we have many anxieties and worries, we enjoy so much the pleasures of the world without the seed growing? Siguro po, if until now we see and realize and we feel there have been no fruits, wala pa rin bunga, we don't feel anything so far, baka po kailangan ng mag-re-landscape. Maybe it's time once more, pagkulang pa din, we don't yet enjoy the fruits, the abundant fruits of the seed, of the word being proclaimed. Baka po kailangan mag-re-landscape tayo. Every day, God never fails to plant the seed. Hopefully po, by now, napakarami ng bunga. Kung wala pa din, maybe we need to re-landscape. My dear brothers and sisters, God is always so generous with His grace and blessing. Every time the word is being proclaimed, the seed is being sown, the potential to bear fruit is there. Ang kailangan lang po sa atin palagi is dispose our hearts that we may be able to receive the seed and bear fruits in us. What kind of soil are you? You receive the seed, we pray and we hope it grows today. Amen. Let us now stand and present our petitions to the Lord, especially as we ask for the intercession of Padre Pio. The Word of God has an innate power to grow, but needs good soil in order to bear much fruit. Let us pray that we may have a generous heart to receive God's Word. Let our prayer be, Lord, help us to bear much fruit. Lord, help us to bear much fruit. May the people of God hear the Word of God and exhibit so that it will bear abundant fruits in their lives. We pray. Lord, help us to bear much fruit. May worldly care and anxiety not shake our trust in the Lord. May we hold on to God's Word that has power to build to build us up and give us an inheritance among the saints. We pray. Lord, Lord help, help us, us to bear, bear much, fruit. much fruit. May the attraction of power, fame, and pleasure 
not snatch the seed that is planted in our hearts. May our faith be deepened so that it can bear onslaught of trials and difficulties that choke our lives. We pray. Lord, Lord help, help us, us to bear, bear much, much fruit. fruit. May the internet and social communication be used to spread the good news of salvation rather than the virtu virus of fake news, gossips, intolerance, and bigotry. We pray. Lord, Lord help, help us to bear, bear much fruit. May we follow the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, who kept the Word of God and pondered it in her heart. We pray. Lord, help, help us, us to bear, bear much fruit. fruit. For the intentions of our parish community, the particular petitions and thanksgiving intentions being offered in this Mass, for our own personal intentions, and for the eternal repose of the souls in purgatory, we pray. Lord, Lord help, help us, us to bear, bear much, much fruit. fruit. Almighty God, your word is like rain that makes the earth fruitful. Make us live by your word so that we may bear a rich harvest of faith, hope, and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all, His Holy Church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Padre Pio, so that as you brought Him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our truth and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Padre Pio, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the two fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, all the bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Padre Pio, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. bread. Forgive us, us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, and you say to all of us here gathered, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not, Lord, in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We now share and offer one another the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Lamb, Lamb of, God. of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Dear friends, behold Jesus Christ, our Lord, the sower of seed, the sower of the good news, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Blessed is the servant whom the Lord finds watching when he comes. Amen, I say to you, he will put that servant in charge of all his property. In Him alone is our hope. In Him alone is our strength. In Him alone are we justified. In Him alone are we safe. What have we to offer? that does not fade or wither? Can the world ever satisfy the emptiness in our hearts? In vain we deny. In Him alone is our hope. In Him alone is our strength. In Him alone are we justified. In Him alone are we saved. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of Blessed Padre Pio, that we may preserve, uh, preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all kneel as we all together pray the prayer to St. Pio of Piacertina. All together, St. Pio, teach us, we ask you, humility of heart, so we may be counted among the little ones of the gospel to whom the Father promised to reveal the mysteries of his kingdom. Help us to pray without ceasing, certain that God knows what we need even before we ask Him. Obtain for us the eyes of faith that will be able to recognize right away in the poor and suffering the face of Jesus. Sustain us in the hour of the combat and of the trial. And if we fall, make us experience the joy of the sacrament of forgiveness. Grant us your tender devotion to Mary, the mother of Jesus and our mother. Accompany us on our earthly pilgrimage toward the blessed homeland, where we hope to arrive in order to contemplate forever the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Before I give the final blessing once more, as I've said during the homily, God never stops planting the seed. Every day and every time we hear the word being proclaimed, the seed is being given unto us. Sana rin po, we never, time of, we never tire of re-landscaping or otherwise known as conversion. And through conversion, may the seed grow and bear 
much fruit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Magandang umaga po sa inyo. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death.